During the third week after fertilization, the three primary germ layers are formed, which provides cells for organ formation in the following months. These germ cell layers are formed by a process known as gastrulation, which involves rearranging epiblast cells. As cells from the epiblast migrate, a faint groove, called the primitive streak, forms on the surface of the embryonic disc. With the formation of the primitive streak, it is possible to recognize the head and tail ends of the embryo. Some epiblast cells migrate, differentiate, and then replace the hypoblast to form the endoderm germ layer. Other epiblast cells migrate and differentiate to form a new layer between the epiblast and hypoblast, identified as the mesoderm germ layer. The remaining epiblast cells become the ectoderm germ layer. The result of gastrulation is the formation of the trilaminar embryonic disc, consisting of the three germ layers. The ectoderm gives rise to all nervous tissue and the epithelium of the skin. The mesoderm gives rise to blood, muscle, bone, and connective tissue. The endoderm forms into the epithelium of the gastrointestinal tract, the respiratory system, and many organs. Further differentiation of mesodermal cells begins the formation of the notochord. The notochord is important in starting, or inducing, the specialization of other cells, including those directly above them, called the neural plate. Epiblastic cells in the neural plate are induced to begin to mound up and fold into a groove. The neural groove continues to fold. Adjacent notochord mesodermal cells are induced to form somites. Somites are the eventual source of cells that form muscle tissue, skeletal, and other connective tissue. The neural groove completely folds inward to form the hollow neural tube. The neural tube arises and its cells eventually develop to form the brain, spinal cord, and other parts of the nervous system. Also during the third week, mesodermal cells from the primitive streak rearrange to form blood vessels in the embryo, and a primitive heart tube is formed. Continued development of the chorion results in the formation of the chorionic villi, projecting into the endometrium to form an exchange area called the intervillous space. The maternal blood vessels and fetal blood vessels remain separate so maternal and fetal blood do not normally mix. However, oxygen, antibodies, nutrients, and waste products are all exchanged via the intervillous spaces.